guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at leg blending. It's been a much requested video and I have finally got around to it. Um, Teddy here was clipped about a week ago, um, but this is my first opportunity I've had to finish this clip. So today I'm going to show you how to blend his legs. Um, I'll be using my Liverman Black Beauty and my classic trimmers to do this. So, to start, I have just done a standard leg line. Um, what I'm going to do is clip the hair down to roughly here with the large clippers, and then I'm going to be blending from here down towards his leg. So as you can see, I've gone all the way around the leg, roughly at the same level, and I'm going to be blending from the shorter hair down towards the longer hair. So the classic trimmers um, have an adjustable head. Um, you need to make sure you've got a trimmer with an adjustable head to do this. So it's got four settings. It clips from 0.8 millimetres up to two millimetres. So I'm starting on the longest setting, which is two millimetres, and I'm going to hold my clippers like this and blend the hair downwards. You don't need to put a lot of pressure on, um, you're just holding it lightly. So blending has become um, a much more popular grooming technique or clipping technique in the last couple of years. Um, you see it a lot on show horse, like native show ponies that need to keep their feathers but might need the rest of their body clipped. Um, it's also good for competition horses um, that don't like getting their legs clipped if they're a bit more sensitive on their lower legs but don't mind having their upper legs clipped. If your horse has black points on its leg, it's actually much more forgiving uh, to blend. So this is quite a good one to show you on. If you have um, like chestnuts or calaminos, they can be a bit more difficult because you haven't got a black point to blend to and the colour difference can be quite drastic. So I'm just working my way all around the leg. What I tend to do for the inside of the leg, I will work from the opposite side. So if you had imagined I'd already done this leg, I would be blending here because you can see much better. Again, I'm not putting a lot of pressure, I'm just kind of gently holding them. I 
Okay, so I'm now at this point, and if you come close, you can see the hair is still not blended yet, but I have shortened some of the hair in his upper leg. So I'll be going down to the next setting, which is number three. And I'm going to repeat again, but I'm not going to take it as low. I'll probably stop round about here. Now, number two setting. And again, I'm not going to go as low again. I'll stop slightly higher up again. And then I find the number one setting can be a bit too short to go like this. So I will then take my trimmers and go like this, just to finish off the last of the blends. Again, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on, I'm just lightly pressing. And that is a wee leg blender. I'm using the Harmony Plus with a number five skip tooth blade. So this cuts at 6.4 millimeters. And So your normal clipper blades, uh, which most people use medium, cut at about 2.5 millimetres. So this leaves quite a bit of extra hair in his leg. Okay guys, so this is the finished result. So I've trimmed up the back of his legs using the skip tooth blades and his leg is blended from roughly here down towards his knee. Blended on the inside and outside of all of his legs. <laughs>